So Brandon, what do you think of your new room? I like it a lot. I'm really so proud of all of your hard work and all the things that you decluttered. Thanks, Mom. I love my room now. Hi guys, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, we're gonna be doing the kids' bedroom reveal. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder and recovering one at that. And normally, I show you the messes and I tell you my mental struggles. And we declutter my hoarded house in small sections at a time so that I can keep my anxiety calm and make good decisions to let things go and make decluttering a positive experience. So this episode, I'm really excited to reveal to you guys, we finally did it. My oldest son had asked me just last month, about five weeks ago, four or five weeks ago, that he wanted his own video series on decluttering his room and updating it. He turned 12 this year and we still have like Lightning McQueen stuff on there from when he was three. So naturally, as a part of age, our boys are growing up, our children grow up, and they also want to have more grown up things in their room. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. We did a lot of big declutters in this room and, and now it's just really time to start updating it, right? It's time to get put on the new bedding. It's time to get rid of the valances. It's time to pull the Lightning McQueen down. Oh my heart, my gosh, my heart is just aching right now. And if you're wondering up here, we're gonna leave this for Christmas. We did it like Buddy the Elf last year and we never took it down. <laughs> We just never took it down. So we'll keep it up since Christmas time is coming up. But come January, we will indeed take the snowflakes and the chains down. But all right, guys, we got a lot of work to do. Right, so we were able to empty out this bin. So we're going to pull it on out. There's no need to have it under there. And now that opens up that space a lot more. All right, so for now, this three-tier drawer is going to stay in the basement until I can figure out what to do with it and make a better decision with it. But let me show you something else. Many of you have suggested to me that he needs a trash can in his room, and you're absolutely right. So guess what? We have one. There's already one in this basement. I love when I can shop down here. But we have this red one. Now it just needs to be cleaned, that's it. But it's fully functional and we could totally use that in his room. All right, so here's one of the bins of his collectible keep pile. And we're gonna start putting it on the shelf. So Brandon. <laughs> What did you want to put on this bookshelf? Um, I don't know, I guess like Funko Pops and other collectibles, like uh, Legos for instance. Okay, hmm, what else? There's some more collectibles down there, so I guess just like collectibles and stuff. You know. All right, we'll do that then. So we had to do some shopping. So we had ordered online a new bedspread, some new sheets, a new valance, a throw rug, and he went with gray and this gray plaid kind of theme to replace the Lightning McQueen stuff, which overall I really like. I think the gray will look very good and it's perfect for a growing boy.
All right, everyone. There you have it. Will you look at that? Oh my gosh, that looks so much better. And it looks neat and tidy. And it looks like a teen's room and not a little boy's room anymore. And oh, I'm just, I'm so happy. The past four weeks, we have just put so much work and so much effort and chipped away and kept decluttering and kept going. And this is, this is the reward. This is the reward. He has the room that he wants. He had his special requests, which was he wanted a cozy little rug under there so he could put his feet while he was on his computer. And we have a trash can right over there. That way he can throw stuff away right away. Over here, here is his bookcase. He wanted a bookcase to be able to display all of his collectibles. This is how he set it up. So overall, I'm happy, I'm proud. This looks amazing, guys. I am here to tell you that if you struggle with hoarding disorder, you can indeed heal. We are living proof that you can declutter the mess. All right, guys, we did it. He did it. My son did an absolutely amazing job during this series. I'm just so proud and happy for him because as mothers, we just wanna see our children thrive, right? We wanna see our children thrive. We don't want them to go through the same struggles that we have gone through. And this just makes my heart just so full to know that he has the habits in place now to clean and declutter. He has the desire to keep his room nice and clean. And it just brings me, as mothers, all of us, that's all we wanna see. We want to see our children reach their goals, right? Now, with that said, <laughs> this channel is all about honesty, right? Being honest and real and, and vulnerable and truthful. Well, we still have one more bin left of stuff and there's even some more plushies that we didn't quite put away yet. And the reason for that is because we're going to be emptying out this trundle bed. The mattress is gonna start coming out soon because now we are going to be going into the playroom and converting that into a bedroom for my youngest, that is the next series that is coming out. My youngest will be in control of that, picking what he wants to keep, what he wants to declutter, and what he wants his bedroom to look like. So once that is emptied out and his room is done, that stuff will go into here. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. A lot of change going on now, a lot of change around this household, but that's a good thing. Change is good. And if you want to see what the bedroom first looked like, there's a video in the description box below posted, but oh, thank you everyone. Just thank you. Thank you for always being loving and encouraging and just keeping me motivated to keep going. And I just pray, I pray it is my will that I keep you guys encouraged and supported too. All right guys, so I will catch you next time. Bye. <laughs>